Good evening, my friends. I'm Dr. Firuza Parikh. I'm the director of IBF at the Fertility Just Look International Fertility Center. Today, I'm going to shed some light on a condition which affects 8 to 10 percent of women in the reproductive age group. This is called polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. Polycystic ovary syndrome was initially called the Steen Leventhal syndrome after the two surgeons who gave it this name. It is also called the disease of the bearded lady simply because there were some women who were hirsute and produced a lot of hair on their face. Earlier it was called PCOD, polycystic ovarian disease, but this is a very old name and now according to many criteria set up by different societies such as the Rotterdam criteria which was introduced by the ASRM, the American Society for Reproductive Medicine and the NIH criteria, the criteria laid down by the National Institute of Health as well as the recent criteria of the Androgen Excess Society. First of all, let me explain you what is polycystic ovarian syndrome. To understand it easily, it is a condition of excess and that is a very simple way of understanding it. It is a condition where there is extra male hormones such as testosterone and androgens. It's a condition of excess of insulin and thereby there is insulin resistance. Although the insulin is produced in a higher amount because of the resistance, there is an excess of sugar, blood sugar, which can result in diabetes, more like diabetes type 2. It is a condition of excess of pigmentation because of the high LH and the testosterone resulting in dark spots behind the neck, over the cheeks, over the breasts, over the abdomen and that can sometimes have a very negative cosmetic effect and cause a lot of anxiety to young girls. It's also a condition of excess of cholesterol where there is what is called dyslipidemia. It's a condition where there can be cardiac issues in the long run. So a simple way to remember polycystic ovaries or PCOS is to understand that it is a condition of excess. Not to forget that there is a condition of excess of follicles in the ovaries. The main reason which causes an ovulation or inability to ovulate and therefore menstrual irregularities such as not getting periods over prolonged periods of time or sometimes when the periods do come they are very heavy, excessive and this can also cause a lot of distress to the woman. So it's very interesting because to understand the symptoms and signs of PCOS will also depend on what age the woman approaches the doctor. We sometimes see young girls, teenagers coming to us because they're worried that they're noticing some hair on their face or they're worried because they have acne or pimples. Now this is because there is excessive testosterone or male hormones or androgens being circulated in the body and this results in being embarrassed, the girls feel embarrassed because there is you know, extra hair or they feel that they don't look pretty anymore and they have to get their arms waxed or their legs waxed or certain areas of their bodies treated because of the excess hair. So this is one symptom which bothers young girls. The other signs and symptoms that can bother women who are married and who are looking for having a baby is the inability to conceive and one of the commonest reasons in PCOS where there is difficulty is because women with PCOS do not ovulate regularly. They have lots of eggs but these eggs do not come out and therefore they have infertility issues. But this is a very very easy condition to treat provided one knows how to treat it. If 
इफ यू लुक एट लेटर लाइफ से आफ्टर चाइल्ड बेरिंग और इन दी अर्ली फोर्टीज वन हैज टू बी वेरी गार्डेड एंड वेरी कॉशियस बिकॉज वुमेन विद पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवरीज टेन टू हैव प्रॉब्लम विद हार्ट डिजीज हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोलिमिया वेर देर इज एक्सेस कोलेस्ट्रॉल देर कैन बी फ्रेंक डायबिटीज एंड ऑल दीज कंडीशन कैन हैव मोबिलिटी अफेक्टिंग द हार्ट द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम द थाइरॉइड सिस्टम सो दिस इज वेर women with polycystic ovary still have to be careful when they have completed the child bearing or when they enter menopause there are many studies which have shown that women who have polycystic ovaries can tend to become diabetic can become heart patients can become morbidly obese if they are not already obese so these are all warning symptoms to look after themselves as they mature and as they turn older so i would like to give a take home message for all women in different age groups who are struggling with the condition called metabolic syndrome one of the causes of metabolic syndrome being polycystic ovaries or polycystic ovarian syndrome my take home message is lead a healthy lifestyle cut down on sugars cut down on foods that have a high glycemic index respect your body make sure that you sleep well you eat well you eat healthy make sure you expose your body to sunlight so that you have enough vitamin d reserves in your body you may have to take a supply or supplement of vitamin d these are some small tips which will help you to bring down your risk of polycystic ovaries and in fact bring down all the risks that are associated with polycystic ovaries